Hi, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add social menu uh, icons as images in your menu bar using 2014 theme or the child theme. So, uh, as you can see here in this uh, result, I have a uh, Google Plus, Facebook, and Twitter icon there. And I add it actually in my menu and it can be done really easily. But I still recommend you to use uh, only CSS menu with modifying the CSS color and so forth in the menu links. Uh, you can check out my tutorial about this and uh, also you can use the uh, general icons which I don't record it for now but I might record it in a later time or in the future. So uh, this is actually the last alternative that I would choose. Why would I recommend this as the last alternative? if you can do with the CSS style uh, menu for social icons and gender icons because uh, these are images so when you go to the one of your posts for example in the post number one as you can see these images are still there and loaded uh, with the whole pages and this can uh, slowing down your site a little bit but if you don't use shared hosting then it's okay so let's get started First, uh, this is the result and I want to apply to this uh, demo blog so wbhowtosite.com So, uh, the very first step is you need to prepare your images so your social icons and uh, for this demo I already prepared mine in uh, a folder on my desktop and if I open it and this uh, uh, in my social, my uh, social media folder sorry, I have four of them but I will just use the Twitter and Google Plus and Facebook uh, .png. So uh, this icon each of them has 35 times 35. If you follow along my other tutorial which is adding logo in 2014 theme uh, because 2014 has sticky menu this means that uh, the social icons uh, will not have the height more than uh, 44 I think and because of that you need the social icons to be in that size if you like you can also download um, these social icons that I will provide to you and I will post the link under or below this video so let's get started so I already prepared my social icons and uh, the next I am going to go to um, a website where I can compress this social icon so I'm going to go to kraken.io is the name of the website and I'm going to try free web interface and this is to compress or to reduce your image size uh, file size I mean so you can to click on that and then select all of your files so let's select all of them and click open and it will say download uh, Kraken files and in a zip archive so click on that green icon so when it's downloaded it depends on where you download yours mine is on my desktop then I'm going to double click it to unarchive it there it is I'm just going to throw the zip file and inside this folder I have the uh, compressed uh, or reduced uh, file size icon so the next is we go back to our browser and uh, close this Kraken IO website and then the next step is you, we go to our dashboard so log into your dashboard I'm just going to close the other tab so log into your dashboard if you haven't logged in and here you go to appearance and menus click on that uh, as you can see I don't have any menu here so uh, you might have already a menu so if you have already menu then you can just uh, edit your menu but for now I don't have any menu so I'm going to create one so I'm going to name my menu name here as all my pages and then create new menu button and then here uh, let's see I'm going to view all and then click any pages here to my menu and there is my menu and let's save menu and I want to put the menu on the top primary menu and automatically add uh, new to top level pages save menu and let's save and see what it's like and there it is I have menu now home and sample page 
so that's already okay so we go to one of uh, the posts and as you can see now I still have that menu and the next is we want to put the Google Plus uh, icon first so let's do that so we could do links and then uh, here in HTTP because we want to put Google Plus icon so you want to put your Google Plus URL but for this demo I'm just going to link it to google.com and then the link text I just want to put it on Google Plus and add to menu button so let now let's now uh, save menu and refresh our blog and as you can see we have the uh, the Google Plus text there and we want to put uh, image instead of the text. So what we can do is go to our menus again and uh, go to our media. So click hover on media and then uh, hover on add new, right click it and open link in new tab. And there it is, it will open the media um, page in new tab. And then here we're going to select files and select where the folder from kraken.io there and select all of them and click open so when it's done we're going to uh, go to post and add new and here we're going to add media and go to media library and choose your google plus because we want to uh, at the Google Plus icon first. So select that, select that, and then insert to post. Now as you can see the Google Plus icon is there and then the next is you go to the text tab there and then you see a punch uh, line of code. What we're going to do is delete the a ref until the uh, ending of the a ref itself and let the uh, left angle bracket and image and then delete the uh, closing a ref, which is uh, this one. Delete that. And then the next is we delete the image class, uh, image class. So this class, and then anywhere before the source or src. Delete that. And there it is. Now we have this uh, this uh, code. So what we need to do is copy all of this copy and then we go to menu go back again to menu and on the Google Plus uh, click on the arrow button there and then here we're going to replace the navigation label so replace the Google Plus uh, text there and paste it here so going to replace with the code that we just copied and then now uh, we're going to save menu and let's see what happened Go here again and refresh our blog. And there it is. Now we have the nice Google Plus icon there. So if we scroll down, it still uh, um, remain on the top. So now the next step is we need to apply something there. So in the menu there and uh, go to the screen options on the top. And as you can see, we have many uh, options here. So I would just uh, click all of them because it will not break anything but we will have more uh, features and collapse it back and go to the arrow uh, the small arrow there and then here you want to open link in a new tab because uh, you want you want if people click that uh, icon you want uh, this page still open so it will retract them to the new tab so you want to click that so open link in new tab so it's uh, checked and then we want to uh, apply the CSS classes as Google plus uh, icon as the classes now if you like you can also put title attribute there so when people hover it it will show uh, a text so if you want uh, to use the WordPress menu in depth I had a tutorial about this you can check out my other tutorial and um, so now let's uh, continue so I would not put uh, the title attribute put for now so the next is the link relationship for example if you want to uh, put no follow on this uh, external URL you can uh, type in no follow there but because it's Google Plus I 
uh, will personally just uh, leave it to volume and then after that uh, you can click on save menu and let's uh, refresh it and of course nothing is changed but now if I click that it will open uh, the google.com in a new tab like what we want so let me close the google uh, tab there and then the next is we want to add Facebook and Twitter so let's do that go again to the links tab and go to Google uh, sorry not Google but facebook.com and of course you want to uh, link it to your Facebook page or anything like that and the link text for now is a uh, Facebook and again add to menu same with this, go to your uh, new post again and uh, hit enter a few times and add media button and then now we choose the Facebook icon and then insert to post. Again we delete the A ref until the closing brackets and let the IMG source there and then uh, delete this classes again until the uh, double quotes, delete that and maybe clean up the space and copy this and then go to menus and in the custom area again in navigation label we replace this text to uh, this IMG source uh, code and then again open link in new tab and because it a uh, Facebook page I want to uh, put no follow But again, it's up to you. You want to put it no follow or to follow. And the CSS classes, I want to name it as FB uh, icon. And then this description, because the 2014 doesn't have a description feature on the menu, I just leave it, uh, leave it empty. And then click on Save Menu. And then uh, refresh it. Now we have Facebook there. So uh, maybe as you can see in the demo, I put the Facebook in the uh, before the G plus. To do that, you can just go to menu and drag and drop the position there. Okay, and then save menu, refresh it again, and sure enough, now the G plus is there. And as you can see, if we hover the social icon you might not want to have this uh, uh, green background but we will fix it later on first we need to uh, add the social icons first and let's see the uh, result we want the Twitter as the last and go to links again and put your Twitter URL there and then the link text we want to uh, name it Twitter for now and add to menu again open your post uh, new post uh, area there or page and then add media and then choose on Twitter and insert to post and delete this ARAF and closing ARAF um, I'm sorry about this uh, this is this we need to edit later, uh, later because we just uh, we put we forgot to delete this uh, closing RF so I just delete it and go back again to the menu it was in Facebook and delete it here delete it RF there sorry about this and click save menu so now it's all okay and then here make sure that the code is right the IMG, IMG source the old is okay and the width and the class so we almost forget it. the class we deleted and there is no a ref so make sure that it's a match right and then copy all of this again the last one for Twitter and go back here again and go to the Twitter custom and navigation label replace it with this code okay and then open link in new tab and again I want to put it on no follow and the CSS classes I want to call it as Twitter icon and save menu and um, refresh it and as you can see I have now three of them and if you want you can also arrange uh, the icon 
like in the results so I want to put G+, Facebook and Twitter so I go back to my menu again and this is um, uh, Facebook so I'm just going to drag the Twitter on the top and save menu and refresh it and sure enough now G+, Facebook and Twitter just uh, like in the result and um, let's fix the uh, sorry not that so as you can see in the result you see that the images are not so um, uh, not so uh, how to call it it, it doesn't have so uh, it doesn't have a um, so long distance between each other so uh, you see that this that they, they have small gap so it's not like this it has a uh, bigger gap so maybe you like to make the gap smaller what you can do is you can uh, go here again uh, we now done with the menu so it, if you like to add the links to your YouTube channel then you can just uh, repeat the step again but but for this tutorial I'm just using the three of them what we're going to do next is to uh, style the CSS so we go to appearance and editor click that and make sure you use the 2014 chart theme if you haven't done so you can check out my tutorial how to create 2014 chart theme so at the moment I'm using 2014, um, uh, 2014 chart theme it's called my 2014 and then in the style.css as you can see now we are viewing the style.css scroll down and here we're going to, uh, to type the code so the common for CSS and we're going to name it as styling social I guess I spell it wrong styling social media uh, icon images on the top menu for example and then closing the so, uh, CSS icon there and um, I already uh, try the CSS code and to speed up this video you can just copy and paste the code that I will provide you so copy this copy and then uh, paste it here okay so basically it will uh, put the image icon in a block and to arrange the image um, after the G plus more to the right so it so it will not have this small uh, this big gap and then we're going to display the background the uh, back background so we don't want uh, the green background when we hover it so at the moment it's still like that but uh, once we click on update file let's do that and then refresh our site and as you can see now the icons um, don't have that big gap anymore and if you hover it it will not have any background color and in the pages menu you have the background color when you hover it so that's it guys uh, for today and thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of tips in the future and please like this video if it was useful for you and thank you so much for visiting this video and take care of yourself and see you in the next video goodbye